Ever since our lives have become one big road trip, a lot of you guys have reached out to us asking us how you two can live life on the road and how do you go about choosing the right vehicle to do it? In this video, C and I are going to be exploring three different vehicles. The first one is going to be a van that is ready to be converted, but it has not been converted yet. And that has enough space to create some sort of living space, and if possible, even a shower and toilet area. The second vehicle we're gonna be looking at is either gonna be a truck or an SUV, something that can either pull a trailer or you can add a trailer type cap to the back of it. The third vehicle is going to be an already converted van. So something that's ready to go, you can move in right away and it might need a few tweaks here and there, but it's ready to hit the road. We partnered with Auto Trader, who is sponsoring this video. AutoTrader.ca, as well as their mobile app, makes it easy to search for vehicles and cars in Canada, and there's such a wide variety of vehicles to choose from. You can search for vehicles by postal code, by budget, or from distance where you are located. Another great thing is you can set yourself up for email alerts, so when the vehicle that you're interested in, the price drops for it, you get notified right away. You can find the best deals for your own vehicle on AutoTrader. When we were looking for a truck to pull our Airstream, we checked out AutoTrader.ca first, and when it comes time to sell our truck, we will be selling on AutoTrader. And now, the fun begins. The treasure hunt for the perfect conversion vehicle. So I'm on autotrader.ca right now, the desktop version, and I'm gonna enter in the make of the vehicle, as well as the model, and our budget. Our budget we're gonna make for the vehicle that we're searching for is gonna be $40,000. And that will include the conversion if we have to do a conversion, or a trailer, or a cap, or whatever. 40,000 in total is our, is our goal. If we can go lower than that, then that's great. So, let the hunt begin. So we are on our way to Burlington, Ontario, where we're gonna take a look at a van that has not yet been converted, but can be converted. It's a newer van, so it's gonna be uh, up and running pretty smoothly, but we still have to consider that you have to put money in to convert the vehicle as well as time to convert the vehicle. driver you just like drive me all the way to sleep it's so soothing <laughs> that actually got me I should have expected that we're now at a car dealership and this one is within the budget which is great it leaves some space for renovations on the inside it's a cargo vehicle so I'm gonna see you know, how the interior looks. I mean, it's it's pretty much a brand new vehicle, so I think it should look pretty good, but just how complicated it would be for you guys to renovate if you were to get this vehicle. So let's go take a look. Okay, so this is a Ford Transit. It's a 2016, I think it only has like 30,000 kilometers on it, which is great. So it, it hasn't gone on a crazy road trip. It's not ready for a road trip yet, but this car would be very easy for repairs and finding parts, especially if you're road tripping throughout North America, because it's, it's, you know, American made Ford. So it would be simpler to like find parts and stuff for it. And there's dealers all across the countries and repair shops that would have these parts. Okay. Huge, huge open space. I mean, I can, I can't stand in here. I'm about like five nine, maybe like five ten with my shoes and hat. Um, I can't really stand, but I mean that that's that's totally fine. That's not that big of a deal. You spend a lot of your time outside, not inside. Once all these seats are out, and it looks like it's just a few bolts, and you can take them out. I'd say you have about like maybe six by nine feet to work with. So that's that's decent square footage. I mean, you can put a, uh, a twin or maybe a queen bed in here. Having so many windows is nice to see out if you're at a beautiful view, but for insulating purposes, 
and for actually building, the windows might get in the way. Right. So, I, I can see a pro and a con to both of them. The back here, oh, these doors are awesome. I've seen them on other camper vans, or converted vans. And just like having these open and you're like parked on a beach somewhere and you wake up, because this part I would assume would be like the bed area, and you just like wake up in bed and open the doors easily and your view is the ocean. I got chills. That is the life, is it not? Okay, so let's take it for a drive. Let's just drive. Oh, that's cool. I've got like built-in reverse cam here into the mirror. That's nice. It's good to give these babies a test drive, right, Sia? Yeah, it's important to test drive. The engine is is important, whereas like for our Airstream, we didn't have to think of the engine because it was it was the truck that was pulling it. So to consider that you're getting a home and a vehicle in one. Hello friends. So we are now off to see a F-150. It's a 2007. It is very much under our budget, but also we are looking into maybe um, like getting a cap, like an Eagle cap, put it on the back and it's basically becomes a trailer. And those run anywhere from use like 11,000 can go all the way up to like $60,000 plus new. So we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what it looks like, how it runs, and just give you a better idea of that option. All right, this is another vehicle. This is a 2007 F-150 and our, our concept with this is that this is the vehicle and then we can add on one of those truck caps so the one eagle of the caps one of those eagle caps so that you can actually live in the back part of the pickup we drive an f-150 that's how we tow the airstream so we're comfortable with with these type of trucks so there's lots of space at the back that could be uh i guess that would be an extra bed. Extra bed or baby or dog or whatever you got. If we want to pull something, instead of putting like an eagle cap, it, you, you should get a truck that has a tow package. Like this one. We got the plug here to plug in. Yeah. And I guess this comes off. Yeah. Yeah, this comes off. And you just put in your hitch. This is great if you work like a nine to five or maybe you just don't want to live life on the road full time, but you want to do weekend trips. Especially like when the weather gets really nice, then it's a, it's a really good option. Especially with trucks, I mean, you can drive over anything. You can, you just feel a lot more safer in a truck. Really in good condition. And he just put it up. I, I would assume that that's gonna go really fast for the price because it's like, what was it? under It's under $8,000, which is really good for the year, for the mileage, for the condition. There's no rust on it. It's, it's He's taken very good care of it. You can tell he's got like eight other cars, so <laughs> he loves his cars. <laughs> That's another option if you want something to use on a day-to-day -day basis as well as take on camping trips on the weekends. That's the way to go. We're en route to see a conversion vehicle that's already been done. So if you are looking at a conversion vehicle and you don't have the skills to, you know, build and put things together, then this is, you know, the best option. So we're gonna go see exactly what work has been done to this vehicle and, uh, you know, how well it suits our budget, if anything needs to be done to it. And it's in downtown Toronto, actually close to where we used to live when, you know, we still, lived in the city and not on the road. If you are looking for a vehicle that you just want to get into and start road tripping right away, something that's already been converted is the way to go so that you don't have to put the time and energy into converting one yourself. Uh, it's Toronto traffic though. I hate Toronto traffic. You gotta deal with traffic oh, when you live life on the road, my brother. You do, you do, but God, I hate traffic. This camper van we're gonna go look at would be, my, in my opinion, great for someone who wants to do this full time, one or two people. If you have a dog too, that's great because there are two seats. So, and it's already put together for you to live in it right away. So 
That is not a good conversion vehicle. But sweet. This one doesn't have a toilet or anything. So this is the fridge. Looks like there's a little pin so that it doesn't accidentally open. And it looks, it looks good. I mean, it's small, small fridge. Um, yeah. Well, it's we're we're used to it, but it's a small, you know, small van. Yeah. Basically, like when you're living in a van, you just shop every few days, a couple yeah. of days, right? And then you can use like one of these cupboards, this cupboard over here, and this cupboard over here for like pantry stuff. Yeah. It looks like there's a couple electrical outlets here too. Not bad. Okay, we have a spare tire. This looks like a brand new spare tire. That's nice. And uh, I mean, the exterior looks like it's in great condition. Like, I don't see any rust. I don't see any dents. I don't see scratches. You're gonna want to check underneath as well. Yeah, check underneath for sure. And under the, the hood as well. The engine is actually under this like center console right here. So you can be driving. You can change your oil. Keep driving. That's very cool. The 2016 Ford Transit Passenger Wagon. Mm. That was the one that could be converted. Yeah. It would need a lot of work because you have to completely gut it. Right. And then create your living space. Yeah, you get to fully customize it, which is awesome. Um, it's it's pretty much like a new vehicle. Yeah, and it's it, 2016. Yeah, it was mint condition right so like the engine won't have any problems and it's a ford so like if if you are going to run into problems that there's auto shops and there's ford dealers all over the continent which is which is very handy for it, parts and anything it had low kilometers yeah under forty thousand kilometers so it obviously has not had the adventure that it should have <laughs> right not yet um it was about about 34 grand which only leaves us with six grand for the conversion if we want to hit our budget six it's doable totally totally doable especially if you have the skills to do it yourself right or you have family or friends that can help you out and you want to just make it like a simple conversion and be really crafty and handy with it then you can definitely stay under budget and it had enough space for you to stand up if you were under like five nine right, you're, you're right. five nine so yeah, you're, it was yeah. pushing it but it was definitely more room uh, headspace and also more room than the already converted vehicle so you could probably fit a, um, a compost toilet in there yeah if you I'd say to. so yeah totally yeah. and you're customizing it so you can do whatever you want to it right Ford F-150 that okay was a really good choice because first of all that that it's like in mint condition the guy obviously really loved vehicles he had yeah. like N. <laughs> yeah. I know and if you were to put an eagle cap on it you could essentially detach that eagle cap and still have a truck yeah for if you're someone who wants to do just like weekend road trips camping trips but you want also a day-to-day -day vehicle then that's a really good option and the budget was crazy good Eight thousand bucks, not even eight thousand dollars. Oh yeah. So you could leave a lot of room for that Eagle Cap if you wanted to attach something or Tons a trailer room. of some sort. You could get a brand new Eagle Cap. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, it's a great choice. All right, the 1996 Mercedes-Benz Camper. It's the one that is ready to go, basically, and needs right. some love, definitely. But yeah, yeah, it, it probably needed what three to five grand maybe like seven grand if you wanted to give it a cool paint job if you wanted to do more to it right and it's still under budget the downside is it's a foreign car so right. finding parts is gonna be really difficult like it still does take some work it's gonna be like a week of work but that's way less than doing a whole conversion that could be months and months of, of grueling work we so, know that yeah <laughs> yeah so that's definitely a plus it has a cool factor to it. It looks yeah. super unique and interesting and right. yeah, it's 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 got the fun Instagram worthy factor to it. We didn't get to test drive it, so that right. was a downside. Perhaps we don't really know how well it runs. The guy told us that it runs good, but we would want to test it ourselves if we decided we really wanted that vehicle. Right, right. It definitely test drive vehicles. We found 
three great vehicles that are great contenders for conversion, mm -hmm. all within like 30 kilometers of where we are, and you found those right away. Like you found oh, yeah. those within like 20 minutes. And we were able to see the vehicles, look for, find the vehicles in the same day that we went and checked them out. We want to thank Auto Trader once again for sponsoring this video and for making the hunt for the perfect conversion vehicle to hit the road with so much fun. It was like a treasure hunt. Now it's up to you. We've given you three options. We've outweighed the pros and the cons for each one. And ultimately the decision is up to you and what best suits you and your lifestyle. And we hope to see you on the road.